is going to be an HMO property uh, with four rooms. That this property has great transport connections that would take you into Ma central Manchester because you do not want your profits to literally be wiped out. One lucky person is going straight on and winning this property. Welcome to Auction Watch, the show where we dive into the exciting world of property auctions and uncover hidden gems and analyze potential investments while guiding you on your journey to auction success. Today, we are looking at lot number 82 in Osop's August auction. It's a three bedroom property in Manchester that offers great potential to investors who are looking to convert it into HMO or any other alternative uses. Let's dive into this deal. So listed at a guide price of 90,000 pounds, this semi-detached property has three bedrooms, two reception rooms, and two bathrooms and a kitchen. Uh, it is sitting on a quite sizable lot which is a great benefit in terms of having a front and a large back garden that comes along with it being a corner property. But the important thing here is when we look at the size of the rooms as well as the configuration, it lends itself to potentially converting one of the reception rooms into a bedroom. So therefore giving you four rooms that you can potentially let individually. So with this particular property, you're looking at a strategy that more or less gives you the highest level of cash return and the HMO strategy could be the most suitable for this. Remember, when you're looking at a property, the first thing that you have to think of, what is the end game? And the end game on this particular property is potentially looking at the highest yielding strategy so that that way you're able to not only cover your mortgage, but also make a return on it. We are, work, we, are, we are in an environment where you have high interest rates. So it's very important to consider what strategies you are applying to properties because you do not want your profits to literally be wiped out just mainly because your margins are so thin. Uh, but this property, it has 104 square meters. Uh, so there's plenty of living space if you can look at how you can reconfigure this property. So let's look at it more closely. Uh, looking at its location is close to a close by train station as we are looking at the map you can easily see that this property has great uh, transport connections that would take you into Man central Manchester so therefore you have the opportunity of engaging the local workforce potential students who could be living in this property and commuting into the city center for their day-to-day -day work when reviewing any property, it's very important to walk the block. And for me, this is about walking the radius of the property to get a good feel of the neighborhood. Uh, this property looks to be located within an ex-local authority or housing association estate. Uh, the houses are very identical. So therefore, when you're now looking at your end value prices, you should have a good price guide by looking at comparable data of past sold prices. Just mean because you have very similar built properties. Most of them are semi-detached. They all have a similar type of exterior. Uh, you do not have a lot of loft extension from what you can see in the streets generally. So therefore, if you're able to refurb it to the same standard as any other pro properties that have been sold, if you look at the online listings, sometimes you can see the internal pictures to really give you a good guide in terms of the property if it was sold in that condition, if you then do it up to the same condition, Condition, you are able to achieve a similar going prices. Of course, that's subject to the market conditions at that particular time, but that data is much more closely accurate than streets that have multiple type of houses because then the valuations are not similar, though they might be in the same street, but the build types um, are very so therefore uh, they're not as, a re as reliable as in a place like this particular one where you have identical houses within the neighborhood. As with any deal, tip number three, do the numbers. You have to do your number crunching to make sure that uh, the deal is viable. 
uh, especially in an environment of high interest rates, your mortgage will be substantially higher than in any other times in the last 10 to 20 years. So therefore, you have to look at how can you make sure that you are still getting a profit from this particular deal by making sure you do your numbers up front, you do your research thoroughly. What is the going price for the rooms within the area? Look at current listings that are there or maybe even go out and view be a viewer of exactly the same type of properties in that area that are offering rooms and see what your competition is offering and what you're going up against. Because if you're not going to be refurbing at that standard, know that your price might have to be lower. Uh, and it's better to know that up front rather than later on when you have already done your numbers on a specific figure, but to only then find out you have to reduce it because all the other properties either have in suites, they are refurbed at a higher standard, uh, and they are catering to a slightly different market. So let's do the numbers for this deal to see if it stacks up. The rule of thumb here is to start with the end in mind. So with this property, we have to look at what is the end potential value of the property and also the end potential use. After doing research, as we look around the radius of this property, a comfortable level I'm happy to go with with this property is an end value of £250,000. So that means that we have to start from 250 dollars and work our way backwards. So what is the end use case? End use case is going to be an HMO property uh, with four rooms. So these four rooms will be our source of income and we can also work with a valuation around the income as well. But let's do the numbers. You can download the spreadsheet free using the link below and I'm happy for you to utilize it and add it to your property toolbox and help you assess your deals. Let's quickly run through the income calculation. So we have four rooms within the property if we go for three double rooms and one single room at a price of 500 pounds per month for the double rooms and 400 pounds for the single room that gives us an income of 1,900 per month, which equates to 22,800 per year. That will give us uh, a yield of about 9% for this type of investment. So therefore, we now have all of our key numbers. You now have to make an assessment of if this deal stacks up for you because it's all subject to each person in terms of what you are looking for. If you believe that there's capital appreciation within that property, uh, you can go for it. Maybe you are looking for a high return in terms of income, but some people are looking for great return on the equity and building equity through the refurbishment. So that's all subject to each investor and which approach you're taking and your desired financial outcomes from your investments. Before you go into the auction room, make sure you have your finance sorted. At City Estate Partners, we offer specialized auction finance solutions tailored to your needs. With our expertise and experience, you can bid with confidence and seize the opportunities in today's fast-paced property market. Get in touch with us today at www.citystatepartners.com and explore your financial options for successful bidding. All right, folks, we are now in the auction room and the guide price is 190000 and that's where the bidding is starting. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of activity at the moment, but let's see what happens because a lot of people try to come in right at the end of an online bidding uh, to get in on the last piece of the action. Currently, it's going steady at 190, but we are already at our target price. So she did go up any further than this. I don't think we would be still in for this deal because based on our calculations, we are right at the urge where we need this deal to close in by. Let's see how it goes in the next few minutes as we come down to the hammer going down. We still have the one bidder at 190,000 pounds. I'm anticipating other people to come in for this property. Manchester is a hot area. Uh, I would like to believe that someone else will come and bid for this property. But if not, one lucky person is going straight on and winning this property at 190,000 pounds with one bid. Let us see if anyone else comes in 
time is running down, but as I have said, there is a typical tendency by bidders to come in right at the end to try to nick a property out of someone who has been bidding all the way at the beginning of the auction. We are in the last minute of this auction and we are at 190,000 pounds and it looks like one bidder could be walking away with this property with just one bid. That is not a common occurrence, especially when you look at how Manchester is hot right now. Let us see how it goes just in case someone comes in in the last few seconds of this auction. As we go into the final countdown, I don't see anyone else coming in for this property and let's count it down five four three two one sold at 190,000 pounds to a lucky bidder out there and for us in this show we have got this property within our target price we said 190 would be the top end there is not a lot of development uplift you get from it but you're getting an asset that will yield at nine percent uh, and it's a great return for that particular area so that is something to consider especially when you're going at auction that don't discount the guide price because sometimes we look at the guide price and we think it is just a price to attract us to that property but as you can see with this particular property the beta was able to get it just on the guide price so you never know what you can get from auction even if you go out there and go by the guide price is your budget because there will come a day such as today where you walk away with a bargain uh, in your eyes or otherwise uh, for the price that it was listed for. That's it for this show. I'm your host, Michael Cosmos. Thank you for watching and I will see you on our next episode as we continue to dive into the world of property auction and uncovering hidden gems and analyzing investments and giving you tips for your success in your auction journey. I'll see you next time.